Emmanuel Loyo. I work with Sifao Motors. I talked of mobility solutions. It starts with the car having service and part sales. We also want to go over and above and train the, the people who use these vehicles. It, uh, Mr. Noor. Mr. Noor is uh, the director and head of NN Toyota. I'm sure many of you have met him before. Uh, Yes, I will allow you to say a number of things. Okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Nori Ismail, the founder and CEO of NN Group of Company, which is Toyota, uh, Isuzu, Suzuki as well, as well with, uh, and uh, Tata Motors. Okay, I'll just Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. This training aims to provide the drivers with valuable information on vehicle safety Years of experience alone are not enough to make you the, the safest driver on the road. We all need to polish or brush up okay, on our driving for, from time to time, which is why Sifa Motors and NN Toyota Arua organize such a defensive driving training. The advantage of such training is to prevent accident on the road. Remember, defensive driving is a skill every driver should master. I can define defensive driving as saving lives, saving time, and saving money, ETC. Defensive driving can help you avoid head collision, wear a seat belt, perform a pre-inspection, uh, obey the speed limit, avoid fatigue, eliminate Destruction, observe your surrounding 360 degree, especially when in Yarua, in West Nile. There are many reasons why defensive driving training is necessary and very vital. NN Toyota Arua Limited, in association with the Sifao Motors Limited, is pleased to announce that this training will be held annually here in Arua to brush up or polish up on our driving skills from time to time. However, this training is also conducted nationwide, countrywide. There always be room for improvement. So we need skills beyond what is legally required by traffic control agency or the government. We just need an open mind and desire to change our mindset. Let let me paragraph last year, Mr. Futsum, our instructor, statement last year said, defensive driving is all about attitude. Our very own and only highly qualified instructor, Mr. Ramram, Mr. Futsum, and Emmanuel will be instructor of the day, and we'll learn more from them of what they prepare today for us. So let's welcome Mr. Futsum, Mr. Ramram, with the, again, thank you very much for coming. Let us enjoy our session. Thank you, Futsum, and you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. I didn't get the name correctly. Was it Ram Ram? Mr. Ram Ram. Hey, I think also we have uh, some uh, Congolese drivers are also here. I don't know if they... Let me have some bit of... Uh, because they're here, I'm seeing the trainee. They're ah, okay. from Congo. They're here. Let's just give them a little bit brief of uh, introduction. Let's let know the reason why today we have gathered here. Bonjour, et je suis Nour Ismael, de Frater, PDG du groupe NN Toyota. Et un groupe de compagnie. Madame et Messieurs, merci de, de venir. Cette uh, formation vise à fournir aux conducteurs des informations précises, précises sur la sécurité de la route. Des années d'expérience ne suffisent pas à être celles de faire de vous des conducteurs les plus sûrs de la route. Nous avons tout 
besoin de revoir notre conduite de temps en temps. C'est pourquoi Sifa Motos et NN Toyota Roua organisent de telles formations de conduire défensive. L'avantage d'une telle formation est de devenir et de prévenir les accidents sur la route. N'oubliez pas que le conducteur défensif est une compétence que chaque conducteur doit maintenir. Il peut définir la conduite défensive comme sauver la vie, gagner du temps et économiser de l'argent, etc. La conduite préventive peut vous aider à éviter les collisions à la tête, à porter une ceinture de sécurité, à effectuer une prise d'inspection et respecter la limite de vitesse, et éviter la fatigue et éliminer des, des distractions et à observer votre environnement. Pour, ce, pour, pour gagner du temps, je peux se limiter là. J'espère que vous avez compris. Soyez les bienvenus. Et puis, c'est vraiment un état de sécurité. Thank you very much. <clears throat> OK, thank you, guys. And welcome, all of you. Some of you we have met several times. But it's still OK to, to repeat such kind of trainings, because every time you train, you will be getting a little bit, a little bit more. OK, this will be our program. We are supposed to start at 2.30. We are a little late, and then uh, I will be doing the lecture. After the lecture, we will have questions and answers session, and then we will have uh, a feedback session whereby you're going to give us feedback. Then group photo, then there will be small snack and soda, okay? And then we go back home, and it's a weekend. Uh, for those of you who have not been, we have never met, this is my name. I am with CFAO Group now. Right? And uh, my name here is what? <laughs> this is from uh, Noor. Mr. Ram Ram, you know where it came from? It came from the drivers themselves because they enjoy doing what? Ram Ram. 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 You feel good, eh? <laughs> where you're only destroying your engine. My name in Uganda is like this. Oh, no, sorry, this one. You see, now I'm not very familiar with it. And I'll tell you how this name came. When I came to Uganda in 2005, 2006, somebody was calling me, Futsum, Futsum, and I did not respond. Then somebody said, Mukasa, and then I said, yes. Then that name stuck with me up to now. Now I'm going to change to Ram Ram, thanks to Noor. Good. I've been in Uganda since 2005. That will be now 18 years. All these 18 years I have been with Chambogo University. Who knows Chambogo University? Chambogo University, automotive and power engineering. And then I joined 2008. I joined Toyota Uganda. Okay. But before here I was still in automotive field, but with another company in another country. Saudi Arabia, Sweden, Eritrea, Ethiopia, and so on. Okay, so there is a lot of experience from my side, but we are also here to learn from you guys. Okay? I think I need someone to sit here. To tap tap, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can sit when you're tired. You'd, Nominate one of the trainees. Okay. Uh, we are not teaching you new, new things here. We are going to discuss what you already know, but we are going to modify it a little bit so that you're safer and you're more economical. You already know how to drive. You already know how to move a car. We are not going to tell you clutch, then put number one, then do ram, then number two, 
The aim is to reduce accidents, respect for other road users. Your fuel consumption after this training has to reduce. I'm telling you this now, again. If you sit on this training, but you don't change the way you drive there, what is the use of this training? It would actually be better for you to go and do your work, other work, instead of sitting here. Are we together? Yes. So what you learn here, you must really apply it. If you come, you learn, you go back, and you still behave the same you were behaving before. What is the point? You are just filling a space here. You're not benefiting anything. I can tell you also a sack of potato can sit here and goes back. It has not benefited anything. I'm not insulting you guys. But when you come for training, you must grasp some knowledge and go back and apply that knowledge. All right? Are you going to apply this knowledge? Yes. Yes. Please say strongly yes. Otherwise, it is going to be a waste of time. This training is also very good for driver's health because we are going to discuss about how you can reduce your stress level when you're driving. You know when the body is stressed, the brain is also stressed. We don't have ladies today, right? So I can speak the way I want. Ah, uh, okay. I have to be very careful now. <laughs> Ah, but they are used to me anyway, no problem. So you reduce your stress as well, okay? You know, stress is the most killing disease in the world now. And when you're driving, there is a way also you can reduce your stress level, starting from your foot up to the high concentration when you're over speeding, okay? So we shall be looking at it as we continue. Maintenance expenses also has to reduce. Okay? Accelerate them brake. Accelerate them brake. Is there a way you can moderate that? Is it possible to moderate it? We shall discuss. Don't worry. Then there is unnecessary delay. Okay? If you abuse a vehicle, you have to spend more money for maintenance. Nor may like it. I may like it also because you're going to give me money. But how about you? How about your company? You need to save money for your company. The little that we get is enough for us, isn't it? When you use your vehicles properly, we are happier. Okay? We don't want you to spend a lot of money replacing the brakes, a lot of money replacing the clutch, a lot of money burning your fuel unnecessarily. Okay? The necessary ones, no problem. These are the topics, but I will not spend reading one by one here, since we are going to catch up soon. Let's go. Yes, you heard Noor saying, defensive driving is about attitude. Your attitude has to be, I want to reach home, safely okay you don't compete with anybody on the road on the road you compete with your safety only somebody overtakes you you also want to overtake him the tendency is like that isn't it if you drive slowly the guy behind you becomes irritated okay he should not be irritated you should not also be irritated. You don't compete yourself with another person. You compete yourself with, with yourself. How am I going to be safer? How am I going to be safer than yesterday? Okay? Not faster than this guy. He might be a rally driver. You are not a rally driver. And this training is not about Rally driving. You can ask Noor how to drive rally, not me. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> okay, this is some figures. We don't want to discuss such things, really, because it's not really good. 
But you can see accident in 2020, 2011, about 3,000 people died. 2012, about 3,000 again. You can see that figure looks to be about 3,000 all the time. Those are people who have died. Okay? In Uganda alone, because of driver mistake. So our aim is to bring that number to, to zero, if possible. Zero, why not? There are some accidents that we cannot avoid, but uh, we can bring that to zero. The second one is also very scary, serious injury. Do you see that? It's almost 14,000 constant, or 13,000 people. These 13,000 people, by, by the way, by now, they might have also died because of the accident. But some of them, hand was gone. Some of them, brain was damaged. Some of them will never have sex again. You see? Ha. Didn't I tell you? The drivers, they like such kind of discussion. I'm sorry. That's how they are. Okay, bye. My name is Nouris Melozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for using trucks and traveling to the magical places in the world. Adventure of a lifetime, at least once in a lifetime.